Hi Aquarius, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If a message is not for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. What is the message for Aquarius? I wanted to get on here and give you a love reading Aquarius. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like there's someone you're connecting with Aquarius where you guys are starting to see a deeper side of each other. The good, the bad, the ugly, right? But it is definitely strengthening your bond. You're definitely seeing sides of each other that, you know, you guys may not show other people. The lovers, yeah, wow, look at that. Really connecting with someone on a deep level. This is something that is not superficial, okay? It is some, it's, it's a really strong bond between you and someone, and a part of that strong bond is really knowing the ugly sides of each other, right? Seeing someone for who they truly are, um, seeing the mask pulled completely off, Right. And that's what's happening here. You two are recognizing each other's souls. It's kind of like seeing each other's human forms being uh, imperfect, but loving each other anyway. This is a very deep soul connection. It's Gemini's Gemini energy. And it's kind of like, even though you two see the good, the bad, the ugly, right? You're still falling more and more in love with each other. You know, despite all of that, despite the bad, despite the ugly. So, uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is all about being patient with each other. Allowing each other to um, be who, they, who you and who they are. And having patience for each other. Ten of Pentacles, the so commitment. So you two are really committed to each other on a soul level. Let's see what this is. Queen of Cups, the Magician. There is someone here who would like to communicate their feelings. Could be a Virgo for some of you, a Gemini, and it could be another Aquarius you're connecting with, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But there is someone here that would like to communicate how they feel. And I'm also getting, when it comes to this relationship, you two are in the process of mastering your emotions. It's, it's so beautiful, actually, Aquarius, because it feels like you two are wanting to work. You, you want this to work out. And so you guys can be practicing patience and kindness with each other. And really trying to give each other room and space to feel how each of you feel. It's actually very beautiful. There's, you know, a lot of emotional maturity that's manifesting here and understanding. I saw the nine of wands, it's not giving up on each other. It's being determined in this particular deck. The nine of wands, this one says determination. I don't see you two giving up on each other. Eight of cups, the chariot. Uh, you know, even during the times where you two may need space or there is space, there's some sort of separation. You two are not giving up on each other. And that's also about allowing each other space. Yeah, look, two of cups. Oh my gosh. This is, you know, soulmate energy. This is, you two mirror each other, believe it or not. I bet if you took a deeper look at the situation, you'd realize you guys are actually reflecting, 
you know, yourself into each other. You, you're mirroring each other, each other. So there's definitely a strong emotional bond you share with someone and you two are getting to know each other on a soul level right now. There's a lot of love here. A lot of love. Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely see this person as, uh, you know, have, wanting a fresh start with them, wanting to create magic, okay, wanting to manifest a new opportunity. It's like you see something big, okay? You can see the bigger picture to the situation okay. with that Ace of Pentacles. And there is a new beginning manifesting between you two. For some of you guys, the Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning can even be, you know, material abundance here. A new opportunity, uh, a new, a, a very solid financial start for you two. What, um, how does Aquarius feel right now? Well, you got the Star of the Magician, strong Aquarius energy. I feel like you are, this is really wanting to use your talents. Okay. A lot of you guys are using your, the talents you have, your, your, your ability to communicate effectively, to make dreams come true here. So you're definitely manifesting a wish with another person. You're, you know, feeling it's, it's a, it's kind of like navigating. Like, I feel like you are the one that is navigating this situation in some shape or form. Okay. You're the one that's navigating it. And this person, you know, may follow suit, right? It's like your manifestation abilities are very heightened right now. And you feel as if you know the direction you want to take this. And you're going straight for it. The Magician is all about self-mastery as well, or mastering a skill of some kind. But that's also mastering the art of communicating with another person, okay, on a soul level. How do they see Aquarius? How do they see you, Aquarius? Queen of Wands. They see you as very passionate about something. You know, I'm also getting like, this person just loves your personality in general. You're, you know, the Queen of Wands, she's just, she's funny. She's the star of the show. You're certainly the center of their attention. And they're very passionate about you. Like this person feels that electric they they feel electricity coming off of you they feel as if you know they see you as someone who goes after what it is they want that you don't allow anything or anyone to hold you back and that creates a strong attraction i feel like that's one of the things they are most attracted to about you is the fact that you don't hold yourself back you're very passionate about whatever it is you communicate or do. How do they feel about Aquarius? What are their feelings towards you? You two are definitely getting to know each other, okay, um, on a whole nother level right now. Or this is advice to be okay with revealing your inner self to someone. Be okay with it. As long as it's being reciprocated, which it looks like in this reading it is, this is mutual. They feel the Nine of Swords, so there's some anxiety here. They're in mental conflict about something. Yeah, 
this person could just be anxiety prone, but I'm also getting like someone not quite sure how to utilize their gifts and skills with the magician. Um, I feel like so, cause they see you as very passionate. They look up to that, but I feel like, you know, this is somebody here that might be feeling very anxious about taking action on something. Taking action towards something here. Okay. Why do they feel anxious? The devil. They're just kind of trapped in their mind right now, Aquarius. Um, you know, this is someone that's kind of holding themselves back from... So it's like you inspire them because you have this sense of um, authenticity with the star being over in your energy and them seeing you as the queen of wands. And it's like they really admire you because right now they're living in their head. And it's like this person is afraid to express themselves. But seeing you express yourself is just so beautiful to them and it inspires them. And again, I feel like they tried to avoid their inner demons here. There's something holding them back. There's this negative thought holding them back from doing what they truly want to do. Because I feel like, you know, they're wanting to break free from this mental, this mental anguish that they're in, this mental conflict that they're in. Because it's keeping them stuck, you know, and they know that. They they are aware that they're not living up to their full potential. And watching you live up to your full potential, it inspires them. What do they want from Aquarius? What do they want from you? King of Cups, your, under, your love and understanding? They want your compassion, your love, your understanding, your patience. They're wanting you to be patient with them. You saw the nine of pentacles. You know, this person wants to show gratitude towards you as well. Okay, I feel like they're just grateful to know you. Because you have changed. You you definitely the you've definitely changed their outlook on a lot of things. And love being one of them. Like, because loving you is a lot different from any other, you know, relationship they've ever experienced. You know, you've changed their outlook on that. That love does not have to be a certain way. And we have the five of wands. Um, they they kind of just... What they want for you is for you to be patient while they go through this conflict, this mental conflict, or this, this conflict in general that they're facing. They're hoping you have compassion for whatever it is that that five of wands is. They're telling me they want to get out of this conflict with it being in reverse. Six of pentacles for what they like about you. You, of course, could be just very generous, all right? Maybe you've given this person gifts in the past, but, you know, they really like how generous you are with your energy. The hermit. That when you give, you give your all. When you give, you give deeply. They know that it's coming from a place of truth. Like, this is someone that knows that when... I'm also getting, they really like how wise you are with that hermit energy. They could be a Virgo, but somebody here really likes how deep you are, how wise you are, and also that you give very meaningful that, that when you do something, it's meaningful, whether it is the words you speak or the gifts you give or the energy you give, it's always meaningful and intentional. This person thinks very highly of you. Aquarius. What are their next actions? We 
Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, it looks like they're ignoring something. What is this? The Wheel of Fortune. Their next actions, guys, it looks like they're ignoring some type of lesson. It looks like they're ignoring some type of um, lesson is what I'm getting. Could be dealing with another fixed sign, another, another Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I feel like this person's having a hard time, you know, taking on new experiences. With that page of pentacles in reverse, Will of Fortune. This person's having a really hard time, you know, tapping into the flow, the ebb and flow of what is okay for them. And so I will say, guys, it looks like this person might be at a standstill. Not quite sure um, how to break free from this energy, this mental conflict, this, you know, negative thinking with the devil. Because the devil can be negative thinking. The devil can be a negative mindset, especially when it's with the nine of swords. Kind of like, wow, they think very highly of you, but, you know, they don't think very highly of themselves right now which is a shame. And there is some type of lesson the universe is trying to teach this person on how to flow and how to give in to divine flow and divine timing and how to give in to themselves. And the page of pentacles when it's upright is all about new experiences and really digging deep and paying attention to the details and, you know, learning new things. And I feel like this person is really holding themselves back from experiencing goodwill like the will of fortune like that's a they're, they're holding themselves back from a positive direction right this positive direction that they truly do want to go they dream about it they they can feel it in their soul they can feel it in their bones they really dream about moving in this positive direction but they hold themselves back so i just feel like they're ignoring fate right they're ignoring their destiny really Seven of Cups, Ace of Cups, the bottom of the deck, the moon, Pisces energy. And it all boils down to fear. Okay, guys. Let's see. What's their hidden truth? What's their hidden truth? They want you to know that they feel really happy with you. They feel so happy with you. One more, please. One more. They want to make amends with you. I feel like this person, especially with the getting to know each other, I feel like this person has a tendency to say things they don't necessarily mean. I feel like this person, uh, you know, it's their anxiety speaking. It's, it's their, um, you know, if you're dealing with a person that is uh, prone to anxiety, whenever they are super anxious, it, 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 it tends to cause them to act ways that they regret. And I do feel like this person wants to make amends with you on something. They want to come together on an issue versus working against each other. Because they know that you two would be able to work it out. I want to pull one more. It says I've lost myself for a little while. Um, I feel like that's just uh, explaining the fact that, you know, they're not moving in the direction of their soul's path. Or their soul's, you know, greatest, you know, highest good. Let's see. One more. I want one more. Yeah, and they're not as together as it seems. I feel like this person really tries to appear to be mentally together. I feel like this person really, it's almost like someone really wants to put on um, a show of them having it all together. And that actually tends to, it's almost like a um, perfectionism kind of. Like this person likes for for you especially to think they have it together, but they don't have it as together as it may appear. I feel like sometimes this person doesn't ask for help or, um, this is someone that wants to, you know, really be in control of themselves, but they're not as together as it may seem. And, and I feel like this person may need help and they don't know how to ask for it. 
Signs you could be dealing with. I have Virgo. It could be another Aquarius. I have Gemini, Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Strong Virgo energy. Uh, could be a fire sign for some of you. Those are your messages. Until next time. Bye.